Senna, consultant pediatric nephrologist at Apollo Clinical Hospital in Kolkata. Uh, he'll be discussing about the relevance of pediatric nephrology. Good morning, sir. Hi. Uh, pediatric nephrology is a relatively new specialty in India, although like in the Western world, it has been around at least 30, 40 years. And uh, as we are moving forward in medicine, and it is getting more and more uh, subspecialized. So this is a new upcoming branch. Basically, it deals with all the, the kidney problems that happens in children. And by children, uh, we mean just after birth till uh, till about 18 years of age. So so we do deal uh, with a wide range of ages, and uh, and that means that. We do deal with the wide range of problems also. So the first question that comes is, do children suffer from kidney problems as well? Yeah, I mean, that's a very good question because uh, unfortunately, even now I am asked this question quite frequently, and even that these questions are sometimes asked by by doctors from other streams, not from pediatrics, but from the other streams that uh, a child, uh, if you see in Bengali, ki kidney problem hoy. And uh, they do happen, and uh, they are not very uncommon. Like, uh, for example, uh, I am just practicing only pediatric nephrologist, and uh, and on the average, I I see about 15 to 20 cases per day uh, in uh, related to pediatric nephrology. The so, point is that uh, that uh, the the problem which happens in pediatric nephrology is quite different from. Uh, the problem which happens in adult nephrology. Adult nephrology, the, the, the main problems are usually, say, uh, diabetic uh, uh, and kidney suffering from diabetes or from atherosclerosis, etc. Whereas in pediatric, it is it is commonly congenital problems and sometimes acquired conditions like nephrotic symptoms, which are completely differently managed in many compared to the adult. So what are the symptoms from which it can be identified that a child is suffering from a kidney problem? So uh, some simple symptoms which we can remember is that if your baby is having having difficulty in passing urine, if the, the baby is training on passing urine or the, the urines are coming in drips, that's number one. Number two is that if your child is having recurrent urinary tract infections, Three is if you feel that your, your child is drinking too much or is passing urine more than normal. So is is waking up at night two to three times for passing urine or, or is, is always uh, drinking. And also many a times uh, they are also present with failure to thrive. That is if the child is not going very well. So and all of these are in, in quite contrast to the adult problem because in adult if your kidney is damaged, one of the first symptom is decreased urine. In pediatric, it is usually not a first symptom. And apart from all this, the other common condition which happens in pediatric is called nephrotic syndrome, where where you, your your urine start leaking protein and the the body starts swelling up. Is it possible to have a kidney transplant for a child? Definitely. That is another common misconception that pediatric kidney transplantation is not possible, cannot be done. And the, the other misconception is that for a pediatric kidney transplantation, the donor, that is the, the person who is giving the kidney, has to be a child. So these are completely wrong. Pediatric kidney transplantation is possible, is, is happening quite regularly. Even in our own city, our own hospital, it is happening quite regularly. And we are able to transplant any child above 10 kilos can be easily, easily transplanted. Previously, there was a, a, a much problem about uh, a blood group in uh, match. Like uh, they have to be the same match. Nowadays, we can do it even across blood group match. And, uh, and as I said, that uh, most of the time, the donors are adults. So adult kidney can be uh, uh, put into a pediatric and in fact they work better. What is the success rate of kidney transplants among children? As as good as in adult. So uh, at the moment uh, we we sort of uh, analyze uh, analyze the pediatric kidney transplantation success rate in terms of uh, 
कितनी सर्वाइवल एट वन ईयर फाइव ईयर एंड टेन ईयर so one year kidney survival in best of the centers including uh, our own is 95% and above and five year is is 90% and above so it is as good as in adult what are the risks involved in kidney transplant especially among children uh, as i said before that uh, the cause of renal failure in children is quite different often from the cause of renal failure in adult and hence uh, the trans we was doing the transplant testing in the transplantation team it is very important that you have got doctors with experience in pediatric and pediatric nephrology i'll just give you one example the commonest cause of uh, pediatric kidney transplantation is usually a something called bladder outlet obstruction that is a, a block in the in the urine output and usually that causes damage to the bladder and ultimately will cause damage to the kidney now in this case sort of condition if you go ahead and do a kidney transplantation without rectifying your bladder your kidney will will die so these are the 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 various aspects that has to be kept in mind but then all of this can be uh, treated there are are are, are ways in which you can make your your bladder safe and then you can go ahead to have a kidney transplant procedure otherwise risk are the standard that includes a chances of a high chance of infections rejection risk nowadays are quite low so today being the world kidney day what would be your suggestion to children uh, about taking good care of, of their kidney my suggestion will be primarily for the family for the mother and father and uh, as i said there uh, make sure that your child is drinking a lot uh averagely uh, uh, actually 1 1.5 liters and uh, and has a healthy diet and it is always good to start this uh, healthy diet the habit right from your uh, young age because then you sort of stick to it healthy diet means uh, the normal diet which we have no salt rich food no uh, chips kurkure all those things should not be there fast foods kfcs pizzas uh, maybe once uh, a month or or if there is an occasion but not as a routine and the and the other thing is uh, be aware that if your child child is passing a lot of urine even at night getting up and passing urine at night or is not growing up well having recurrent urinary infections or if it is having episodes of recurrent body swelling then better to consult a pediatric nephrologist thank you dr sima for uh, sharing your uh, important thoughts with our uh, audience here and i'm sure they'll have more questions and once they do we'll uh, share and pass them on to you and we'll get them answered thank you, uh, thank you. for uh, being with us and uh, have a great day thank you